Hey guys, what's up? Tamara here. Today I'm going to be reviewing A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. This is the first book in the Firebird trilogy. I believe it's going to be a trilogy, but you know, who knows? It could be a series, but I suspect it'll be three books. This is a young adult science fiction read. Not only is it a science fiction read, it kind of has vibes of other genres rolled into it. Like it definitely has a heavy romance vibe. It definitely has a heavy historical fiction vibe at times. And there's a few other things thrown in for good measure. Now, if you don't know what this book is about, it is about a teenager, Marguerite, who gets to dimension jump. She is on a journey because something tragic happens to her family and it has sent her um, to other worlds. She uses a necklace called a firebird and this is a necklace that her physicist parents created and she is on a mission to find the person who has done her family wrong. And in the midst of this, you know, being a young teenager, she thinks, she acts before she thinks, and before she can fully process what has happened, she has jumped into the next dimension. And yes, this is about dimension jumping, not time travel. Do not misunderstand. Marguerite and her friends Paul and Theo, they jump from parallel dimension to parallel dimension. It is the same time, the same year, it's just a different version of your life. You know, for one example, in this life, both your parents could be living, you could have a sister. In that other dimension, one of your parents could be dead, both of them could be dead, you could have some brothers, you could speak a different language, you can live in a different part of the world. All of these things change, but I found that the root of these characters stayed the same no matter what dimension they were in. And I guess that kind of falls into that whole nature over nurture type thing. Like Marguerite is an artist and each version of herself is an artist. While she might draw and does paint or have a more abstract view than her, she would in her version of reality. But guess what? They're all artists, just like Paul and Theo. They are almost like the same people in the heart of them, no matter what dimension they are in. And that is what I liked. I really liked the plot. I like the premise of the story. I like the idea of dimension jumping. And I like how Gray delivered it. It was a very fast paced. It was a very easy, quick read. And while there was a lot going on, there was zero confusion as far as where are you, what's happening, how did you get here, who speaking, when, all of those things were crystal clear. This book was told from Marguerite's point of view, so there wasn't a lot of POV jumping, which was fine with me, and it was very well told. I like that we got to see it from Marguerite's point of view. You know, she was a very dynamic and interesting character. She's, in some ways, she's very mature and taking on the responsibility of kind of seeking vengeance for her family but in other ways she's very young and she's very teenage angsty you know one minute she is on a mission to take down the person or thing or situation that has put her family where they are and then the next minute she's wondering how much she likes Paul or how much she likes Theo or vice versa. I mean, it's kind of random how like the romance is kind of thrown in there, but you know, it works. It kind of just came together anyway. And you know, speaking of that, I like the characters. I liked Theo, I liked Paul, I liked Marguerite. They were all likable characters. Now, one thing that I didn't really like is that the villain wasn't crystal clear to me. Sometimes I like, a really strong villain like one that has you shaking in your boots so to speak and this villain was kind of a weak version of a villain and I don't really like that that part was kind of absolutely young adult you know like it's bad but it's not really that bad you know it's bad but it's no real true urgency or weight to what the villain has done temporarily anyway um, I feel like we got a happy-go-lucky ending while you can tell there's more to come i kind of wish there was more of a shocker for an ending or cliffhanger for an ending we got neither of those now i wasn't sure if that's because gray didn't know if she would write more books because to me it kind of ended in a way where that could be the end and it would be satisfactory but knowing that there's another book i wanted more i wanted to just kind of be like oh my god you know an omg moment at the end you know uh 
unforgettable cliffhanger but that didn't happen I think that was my biggest problem with the story was the end and you know with that said you know I liked it so I liked the characters I liked the plot I liked Gray's writing style I even liked the cover art this cover is so cute like really when I saw it I'm like I have to read it like it's just beautiful and I don't really comment on cover art that often but I had to on this one I mean look at it, you guys right so yeah with all that said what would I rate a thousand pieces of you I would rate it four out of five bookmarks like I said it was very good I enjoyed most of it I only had small minuscule problems with it and I am looking forward to the next book if you enjoy science fiction this would be a good book for you to read if you like a light feeling science fiction I should say not really heavy science fiction and if you like romance thrown into whatever you read this is for you there's definitely a strong love triangle in this book so if you like that aspect of young adult that is woven into this storyline so that's all I have to say on this title have you read a thousand pieces of you will you read it let me know. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Did you like it? Did you not? You know, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy reading. Bye guys.